Good morning, Carlina from Carlina Lewin Studios here. How are you? Hey, I was just doing something um, and I thought, well, I should just push play. So I thought I'd bring you along with me. I have seen um, a, a, quite a few videos lately of um, eco dyeing and printing um, with nature and stuff like that. I um, make a lot of uh, coloured paper for my journals. Um, this one here, um, I believe I actually made that out of a watercolour mix. Um, this here is coffee dyed. Uh, I actually, I, I will do a video of me doing it. It's, it's, it's just that it's the way I do it. I don't think many people would be able to do it like that because I have a wood stove and I actually soak them and then I put them on top of the wood stove, which is like a hot plate. And I, and I do each individual one. Um, that's why it's actually got this uh, round bit that's from the top of my, my wood stove. Um, and and I don't think many people have that option. So uh, there's so many videos on YouTube about doing coffee dyed paper um, and stuff like that. So I, I'm just not sure if that would be helpful because um, people can't really do it like I can, I suppose. Um, so I thought that... I. I, I have another friend that has been doing the um, the boiling leaves and stuff on paper um, and looks fabulous. And I've just been looking around the old YouTubes, wondering if there's any other ways that you can sort of do this without um, buying the alum, is it alum? Yeah, and stuff like that. Uh, so I just thought, well, give it a go. So I've got a plain piece of paper here. I just did the very first one just to see off camera if it actually worked because you know um, so I'll show you what what the outcome of that was uh, very light but I actually think that that was all right it was just using a um, an iron so I have actually got some coffee very thick solution coffee Oh, I think you're a bit crooked. Hang on, I'll set you up a bit better. Sorry. <laughs> Teething problems. Move myself over. We, I'm using my cell phone and it actually records a little bit off. It's a bit weird. So anyway, um, so I've got, I'm, I'm a very impatient person, I guess, and I um, want things a little bit more instantly. So I think that you would probably get a better result if you actually soaked these papers and they were wet then you put the the stuff on um but you know like i said i'm a little bit impatient so how about we actually give these ones a go and like uh re re repurpose and wet and layer these again so i've just got plain water in in this one uh coffee in this one and you could use a whole lot of um extra dyes as well which would be roll up the sleeves ready we're getting serious <laughs> um you you could use uh inks and and watercolor sprays all sorts of stuff and I, I think that this is quite interesting i actually love the fact that with the iron it's not only given the image of that it sort of has given a, a raised impression of the actual leaf as well so that's pretty cool so what i did this one here was my bottom sheet so we'll go with that again um, I sort of did the same thing on on both pieces of paper, but it turned out a wee bit different. So let's go, um, and I will just spray this with coffee and get it wet. Get that wet. That's a wee bit more coffee than I did the first time. Um, I think getting it wet is is important. Let's lay this one back down here. This was the one that I used for here. So how about we just reuse him? <laughs> I don't know. Um, and these ones here, they're all limp and, and funny now. But you never know. That might encourage more colour to come out. So we're learning together. I, I don't know. I've seen other people also um, hit them with a hammer and smash the the leaves to... to you know pummel out the color i guess um i'm just i'm very roughly sort of doing this guys it's just 
you know, we'll learn together. Oh, this leaf, maybe we'll get a new one. Maybe we'll get this one over here. Snip off that little bit. I've just went around my pot plants <laughs> inside. Um, and we'll do another one there. How about that? And then I think we should spray this again. Because I think that maybe is what helped this, this one here come out a little bit better. Spray this one. Spray, 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 spray. I feel like putting some metallic spray on here. Why not? Hey, why not, boy? Can you hear my lovely dog? He's snoring in the background. His um his oh, these are amazing, these um these distressed inks. If you don't shake them up, they just are completely clear. <laughs> so let's shake it up and give it a give it a go. Um I quite like Let's go with the bronzy, bronzy one, eh? Why not? Because it just looks pretty. Oops, come on, you get back down there. That's the boy. Right, let's give that a shake. Spray this one with a bit more water. That my iron is set on as hot as it will go, and also, um, <laughs> he's snoring. My iron is as hot as it will go and also set on steam. Oh, yes. That does look pretty. Right. So that was just a bit of a mica. Lay this one on the top. And let's iron it. <laughs> this is going to be exciting. How about I have... Oh. Uh, how about... Let's not burn the papers. Um... I've just sat my papers all on top of my iron cord. So hang on, I'll just move it out of the way so we can go freely. Um, and why not just have a sip of your cup of tea while we're doing it? <laughs> oh, does anyone else make a cup of tea? Get all set up to do their crafts, sit down, and it's taking you that long, your cup of tea's cold. I have um, seen that you can get these wee little things that you can plug in and put your cup on them and it will keep them warm, I think. Oh, look, a little bit of colour of that one's coming out. So, there we go. This is exciting. I I mean, I I, I will try the, the boiling it for hours and all that kind of stuff. But, oh, I don't know. I'm a little bit more of an impatient person and like to have instant results. <laughs> Um, and when I, oh, that was a bit, when I um, coffee dye uh, or beetroot dye, eco dye any of my papers for my journals, afterwards, after I've sizzled them on top of my uh, wood stove, they are crinkled. So I do actually use an iron um, and iron them. Obviously, it doesn't take this long per sheet. I'm going to flip that over now. Let's see. Oh, we've got a leaf hanging out the, the top. Um, but yeah, I just, I think I would be a lot more happier with just a wee bit more instant. I've seen some videos of you, you need to get, uh, the alum, you need to boil it for hours. Um, then you need to let it sit there all wrapped up for 24 hours and then you roll it all out and then they dry it. And I'm just like, oh, I'm sorry, but I'm over this idea already. Right. Should we have a look? We'll turn it over. And we'll have a wee peep. I feel like we can see some colour coming out there. Let's see if it's worked. Yes! Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. I do like that. So the original one stayed there nicely. What's happened here? Um, that one there turned out. Oh, yes, this one is lovely. I like that. I really like that. The mica um, spray didn't show up all that much. Um, but that's okay. It's got a wee glimmer, a wee shimmer. So that's fine. Um, but these leaves are coming out fabulous, right? Like, that definitely is, is, is a leaf. Um, looks like I'm starting to cook this one. It's starting to go a bit funny colour. Let's have a look. Did it do anything here? Not really. Why is that? Why is it coming out better? 
on one side. Oh, yeah, well, that one did. Does it need to be a wee bit wetter? I'm not sure. Huh. That one, you can see the veins in that one. That's lovely. That is lovely. Hmm, I feel like... Why, why does... It... I'm wondering why... Was this page wetter? Was that the, the thing? I think so, eh? Yeah. We should use this page again and make it the bottom page and wet it and wet it and wet it. Because I just want to have a whole lot of patterns all over, you know, because that's cool. Let's spray this one again. Do da, do da. This poor piece of paper is getting so wet in um, uh, I just like these two here for a minute. I feel like these ones are coming out a lot better. I actually pull, pulled some um, some some leaves off my um, fern Fergus, whom I love, and I think each one of his um, his long frawny leaves I've, I've sprayed that quite a lot um is nearly a meter god he's huge he's such a big 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 plant right let's go um you know it's apologizing as i was cutting them off <laughs> i said sorry fergus it's for the for the greater good of crafts i will have you in turn you know forever on a piece of paper imprinted because what you can do after you've made these is that you can scan them and reprint them out so you don't have to obviously create ev oh don't move it i moved it that's going to be detrimental i feel <laughs> okay i feel like this has dried out a lot quicker let's flip this over I think moving it is going to be not the best. So yes, my poor plant got a bit of a haircut. I only cut two off of them and said, look, I, I won't do any more until I know that this will actually work. He's a huge Boston fern and he's lovely. His name's Fergus. <laughs> and he is really, really lovely. But, you know... If it's going to be a craft supply and I can have them in a journal, that would be beautiful. So you can do this sort of thing with, um, like you could just lay the leaves there and spray around it. Um, and that can create a, a negative image. Let's see, let's see. Oh, was that there? I pulled it off too fast for us to see. Might be sort of losing the images on this one. See, this is getting a little bit more lost. But let's see with that. Where were you sitting? Was that you sitting there? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I like this one. That one's turned out quite nice, right? Lovely. I like it. I like it a lot. I have got a piece of... Um, these coloured pieces, and let's see if we can do it on there, and make them my in shot, there we go, in here boy, snoring, that is lovely, that would still, it's very faint, definitely very faint, but you can see it, um, I can iron them after. I sort of feel like maybe the more you're doing it, the more you're losing the patterns, obviously. Um, yeah. So I think maybe lay it out. Lay it out correctly the first time. So how about we go with a few more different leaves. Um, can you see me? Yes, you can. It's all a little bit off squiffy, but... I got some, see what I mean, ivy. I went, went around and <laughs> had a haircut on all my plants. 
Um, oh, this is a lovely big leaf that I got. That would be lovely. So let's spray our paper and make sure it's nice and wet, I think. It's, let's start off with some water. Mr. Snorry Pants. Now, I have wet that a lot. A lot, a lot. And what I'm going to do with this one is I have some other coloured sprays. Let's, oh, 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 croak. Oh, that's green. That is green. Let's do a bit of blue. It's actually got mica in, in the stuff as well. Oh, this is going to be pretty. That will be pretty if this works, right? Let's, oh, I think I just want to do those big leaves. So I've got a few more here. Let's put, I'm wondering if Mr. If Mr. used it on all of them is going to work. Um, this one. Oh, he's lovely. Should we just do two? Yes, I think we should just do two. Right, let's spray, 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 spray. I'm just off to the side spraying this top one. Putting water on him. Make sure it's nice and wet. And we might go a couple of squirts of the green. Right, I feel that's very wet, see? I'm trying to, trying to, um, learn right let's pop this down push 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 i suppose you could put something else over the top of it like another sheet how about we do that because i think maybe if we sandwich it down yeah right i think right time for another slurp of the cold cup of tea oh i can hear the steam right i'm just gonna have a wee sip let you know how much colder it is yeah that's body temperature now oh this one's gonna be pretty so yeah maybe just doing it once you will probably get a more defined image of just the the leaf <laughs> my iron is trying 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 I think the steam thing's not working on this. I think everybody's got an iron, haven't they? And everyone can soak a piece of paper and get leaves and just squish them together. So that's that's how I like to roll. Just make it a weeny bit more simpler. Simpler. Oh, that's looking good already, guys. Like, <gasps> see, there you go. I went and bumped it again. Oh, look, should I just leave it like that and have a look? Mm, these are pretty already. Has it done it? Has it done it? Oh, I'm nervous. I just, should I? Should I do the wee bit more heat? Direct heat, maybe a wee bit more. Well, this one could be pretty. Because it is so wet. Oh, look, see, you get the whole image of the leaf. Look, I can see it coming through. Well, this is exciting. This is exciting. Instant gratification. Oh, flipping it over is going to be. How about... No, because I can still feel... Oh, it's poked through the paper because of its way steamy bit. Oh, well. It is what it is. Just learn to cut that off a wee bit better next time. I'm loving the colours that are coming through anyway. Wow, look at that. I suppose you're just ironing the pattern into, into the paper, aren't you? Which is okay. I mean, it's texture. I love texture with things. And with that bit there in the middle, I can just pop something over it, you know? You just... Perfect place for a wee sticker or something no big problem 
Right, I see what I mean. I'm impatient. I want to have a look now. Ooh. So basically no colour transfer has happened on that page. Colour movement. It's just got the ironed impression of the leaf. <laughs> well, what about this page? Yeah, you can see it a little bit more. Pretty. It's still more interesting than the page that we started with, I suppose. Um, I think I'm needing maybe a stronger contrasting colour to what the piece of paper were, was already. Um, likes of the other one being white and then I put the coffee dye on there. I mean, you can definitely still see. I mean, this one's the nicest one, isn't it? And that was the bottom sheet, right? Was that the bottom sheet or the top sheet? Um, I have to look back on the video. <laughs> um, and it's all shiny. I don't know if you can see that, but with the micro spray, it looks good. Well, I think I might have to keep trying. Um, maybe, you know, you can add all sorts of things like maybe if I soak all the leaves and the leaves themselves are wet um, or dip the leaves in colour. I mean, you can do all sorts of things, can't you? You can literally just spray these with colour and print them down. Um, you know, that, that can work. These are beautiful leaves, right? Very pretty leaf. Um, yeah, so that's, that has been very interesting, very, um, you know, it, also this is a different type of paper. This one here is a little bit, I like this, this that turned out well. I'm going to have to, I like how it's sort of, you know, like it's, yeah, I like this one. So maybe it could also come down to a paper thing. Some papers absorb colours and treatments a lot better than others. This is mild, but I, I like it. I do like it. That would be a nice eco-dyed piece of paper for, uh, a, you know, a woodland journal or whatever. Um, and these, these here are still cool. So, I guess I'll just keep trying and trying. And if I come up with a better formula, I will come back to you and let you know. Please share, like, comment, hit the thingy, whatever's, whatever YouTubians do. Um, and if you've got any suggestions, if maybe you think something else that I could do would work better instantly, please let me know because I'm all about new ideas and sharing sharing our ideas and, and that would be fantastic. So I hope you have a great day. See you later.